600 HP wagons. 2021 Audi RS6 vs. Mercedes AMG E63, Porsche Panamera Turbo S. These three superstation wagons are fast and furiously practical, but which one is the best? The AMG remained the sole super wagon on sale in the US, until Porsche a few years back delivered the Sport Turismo version of the Panamera Turbo. Then Audi did the seemingly unthinkable and brought the ultimate Verbatim front stateside just this year, the long-lusted over RS6 Avant. That's right friends, we suddenly have three 600 HP, or near enough, station wagons in a comparison test. Turned out 2020 had one small silver lining. There's an in-joke with, and perhaps about, auto journalists. We all want brown, manual, diesel station wagons. Part of that is true, and I'll go so far as to take some credit for the brown and manual parts. The diesel thing. No idea, as I despise diesel anything unless it's a pickup truck and involves hauling a boat. Why do journalists like wagons so much? Wagons give you a car's handling with an SUV's practicality. Plus, Long roof cars happen to look so much better than three box sedans. It's true, don't argue with me. Going with that, let's just accept the idea wagons are the best type of cars, and enthusiasts know this is the truth. As editorial director Ed Law once said, Americans think they love cars, but Germans actually love cars. That's why they drive so many wagons. Meet the contenders. And oh, look, these three wagon combatants all hail from Deutschland. The 2021 Audi RS6 is the newest Uber wagon to arrive on our shores. Sporting a twin-turbo 4.0-litre V8 that cranks out 591 HP and 590 pound-foot of torque, the Audi is the least powerful of this trio. Did you ever envision a world where a 591 HP station wagon is the least powerful anything? The RS6 is also the heaviest, outporking the Porsche by 39 pounds, 4,862 versus 4,823. Heaviest and least powerful is bad I thought, though I should mention that 39 pounds is nichts. Road Test Editor Chris Walton and Features Editor Scott Evans joined me for this dream comparison test, and I weigh around £100 more than Walton. My actual point is when did cars get so dang heavy? Anyhow, the Audi is also the least pricey as far as starting numbers go, undercutting the AMG by $3,400. As tested, however. The RS6S sticker climbs to $131,645, which is more, though barely so, than the E63S wagons as tested price of $129,065. The Porsche, as is often the case, costs much more. The Panamera Turbo S Sport Turismo starts at $183,050 and the silver one pictured here sells for, orch, approximately $214,000. The Mercedes-AMG E63S wagon, weighing in at a svelte 4,658 pounds, also has a twin-turbo 4.0-litre V8. The modern-day hammer wagon, and really, AMG, please officially call the E63 the hammer already is good for 603 HP and 627 pound-foot of torque that gets routed through a 9-speed Mercedes-built automatic transmission. The Audi RS6 uses an 8-speed ZF-supplied auto, while the Porsche uses an 8-speed PDK dual clutch. All three wagons are all-wheel drive, though the AMG does feature drift mode, which disconnects the front drive shaft turning the car into a tire-shredding rear-wheel-drive manic. Why maniac? 
traction and stability control must be deactivated to enter drift mode, and 627 pound-foot of twisting force is fed into only the rear axle. Fun. The Porsche also comes with a twin-turbo 4.0-litre V8, and now in Turbo S guys, the previous version was just plain old turbo, generates 620 HP along with 603 pound-foot. One more thing, the E63S comes with an expandable, detachable beer forward slash grocery holder, which is quite cool forward slash wagon like. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks.